The notion that the earth is flat comes in a couple of different ways. One would be as a belief, someone that sincerely believes that the earth is flat and that's the end of it. Regardless of any observations and demonstration, it is a belief. And those are the people that will say, I believe that the earth is flat, it's my private personal belief and I don't want to discuss it. And they have every right to. It's like a personal religion. A second kind, however, would be complete fanaticism from individuals that will be content to call you names simply because you don't share their belief with them. And they call everyone that thinks that the earth is not flat brainwashed and indoctrinated. Now take that and add to that ignorance of science and confirmation bias and you end up with a deadly recipe, manifesting itself as a complete cult a huge magnitude string of ad hoc explanations and arguments from complete ignorance and personal incredulity. While those people too have the right to believe whatever they want, they are the same ones capable of making a meme like this. Whoever made this is either a great troll, a funny guy, who I salute because he got me, or someone that lacks understanding of basic physics. And if anyone is looking at this and he feels it is slightly plausible or ponders a thought, you're probably not a physicist. Of course, there is absolutely no shame in not understanding physics. That is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It is only a shame when instead of genuinely studying and asking questions to understand something, one jumps to a certain conclusion that entertains his belief. It's only a shame when someone tries to disprove something before attempting to understanding from its reliable sources and he feels content with spreading the information that he has. Now if there is any flat earther watching this video, before you go ahead and dislike and do what you do, I would like to inform you that I don't mind that you are thinking for yourself. In fact it is great that you are basically questioning everything. And I certainly don't care if people want to believe that the earth is flat or a triangle or a donut or any shape or that matter. I'm okay with that. You have every right to. If that's what you want to think, then think it. <laughs> but what I will argue is that before anyone wants to disprove something that fits his model of reality, one must first understand and be fair about it. It takes science to disprove science. And if we try to disprove something, such as gravity, without even understanding gravity in the first place, then the situation we have is someone that doesn't understand science, convincing other people that don't understand science that a legitimate case is being presented when there is not. Not that I needed to do that, but I personally calculated the gravitational force on a flying bird that weighs 320 grams. I assumed he's flying 10 kilometers above Earth. And that force was only just over 3 newtons, which renders its ability to fly completely possible. Not to mention that birds exert a force against gravity during flight. Not to mention that the analogy itself is false. Since that the bird, like I mentioned, is exerting a force while water is water. It is inanimate. It doesn't fly. It doesn't want to fly. It sits where it is. Now, like I said, everyone should go ahead and believe whatever they want. I am not interested in convincing you that the Earth is not flat or that it is a globe or anything like that. This is not why I'm gonna make these videos. But I'm gonna make a couple of videos that will discuss two things. I'm gonna discuss density and buoyancy as an alternative to gravity, gravity itself, and scientific models in general. Stay tuned for that and subscribe if you're new, that way you don't miss the videos that talk about these topics. And I'm sure you will find something interesting, whether you are a flat earther, a globe earther, for the lack of a better term, or a globalist, or that you just genuinely don't care, I'm sure you'll find it interesting and I'm sure I have something to say and might change the way you think. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna end this here and I will see you next time. Better Ironside.